back to the shed. Back with this guy today. And there's an issue. I think we stripped the rear differential. So a spur gear or pinion gear doesn't move. If you hold one wheel on the front, it moves. If you hold one wheel on the rear, it just spins. So, today we're going to rip the rear end apart. And I'm really hoping it's not going to mess with all this other crap that I put on there. So, alright, let's see what we can do. Alright, so, I pulled this off. I pulled that cap off. And you can see white dust. And you can see right here. Where are we? Oh, the fennel. Yeah. Okay, so this gear right here is missing. So it's just, I think uh, the diff looks okay. This gear right here looks okay. This gear right here looks like it's a little worn, so let's see. So these bags of gear, bag of gears here, it looks like it's this gear right here. And I haven't seen anyone do it except on my Kyoshos, but this is so you can move that rear end back to have a longer, whatever, a longer wheelbase. And I think that's where this gear comes in. Because if you put that gear onto here, And I'm pretty sure it stops before it goes into the spur gear. But we'll have to tear that off and find a part. Now the problem is this, is you have to take the whole motor mount assembly apart too, so that you can lift this up high enough. And depending on how much this is going to be a pain in the butt, you got to take this whole part apart too. So, here we go. Okay, so this is not how I wanted the whole thing to come apart, but as I pulled on this little gear right here, this whole part came off from the front. So I'm hoping that this just goes in. It looks like it has a cut. Uh, can you see that? It looks like there's like a D, so it can only go in one way, so hopefully that's not a problem. And looking at this gear here, it's a little longer. So since I'm probably not going to ever make this a long shaft or a, a longer wheelbase, I might just cut this gear. Although it looks like it has the little D part in there too, so maybe it can only go in. Like if it only goes to... So this notch, where are we at? You see this notch right here? That notch only goes that far in. So if I cut that off, it might give me enough room, but it might be just round in here, so it'll just slip. It won't have anything to grab onto. So, cut it. I don't know where the camera stopped picking up me talking, but I had to cut a little bit of that plastic off, which shot somewhere, so I could make it smaller, the original gear. 
put everything back together and before I got yelled at by my daughter I was at this spot right here video I did I said pay attention to which side this comes out of because it can go in either way this way and it can go in this way but if it goes in a certain way it runs in reverse and I got it all buttoned up the other day and realized huh so still sucks. This one still moves okay. Oh, you know what? Before we get too carried away, let's plug this guy back in here. And where's the battery? Let's just double check to make sure we're going in the right direction here. day late and a dollar short but the one thing I did want to do was rip that diff apart and see um, see what the situation is with it like if it can be rebuilt if it can be um, I'm sorry if it could be rebuilt or greased or if it's just the way it is and it's a $55 toy and we're not going to worry about it so I guess the next time I have to tear this apart we'll do that Shocks work, back shocks don't work. Point six. All right. Well, at least we got it back together and figured out what one of these things was. I wonder if this is a different spur gear. Oh, it doesn't look big enough. Maybe it's a smaller one, but it's still a metal gear on the motor. I guess unless you press one of these off. I don't know. That's the next deal around. When I did my good unboxing on this place, I forgot that uh, it comes with these things too. So, 
Just in case you guys were wondering if that's what was keeping you from buying this car. It came with extra body clips. It does, and I apologize that I didn't tell you sooner. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's put a charge on this battery right here. And, uh, it's pouring rain today in Southern California, so... I have a little jump set up in the garage for it. I unfortunately built it with too much of a little whoop, so it gets bottomed out. So we'll have to make another one. But uh, I only get to play until the old lady gets home and then she parks her car in the garage. So, anywho. Um, all right. That's it. I don't know if that helped anybody, but if it did, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it. And uh, cheers, y'all.